Hello friends and welcome back to Edurify YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing well. So as you can see, Edurify.com, our daily current affairs portal is now available. So we are going to start our video and we are going to discuss current affairs of 21st of April. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please hit the bell icon to our channel because there are many government exams that are going to come. And for all the preparations, you have a lot of current affairs requirement. Edurify, this platform is sharing daily current affairs. Fresh and updated current affairs, no repeat current affairs. So, subscribe to our channel quickly. And we have a review of current affairs daily. So, let's start without wasting a minute. National. Mumbai city will be the first in the country to get 100% digital buses integrated with a tap-in and tap-out facility. INS Vagshi, the sixth Scorpion class submarine under Project 75, was launched by Defense Secretary Ajay Kumar in Mumbai. The submarine manufactured by the Mezagon Dock Shipbuilders Limited (MDL) will undergo rigorous tests before it is commissioned into the Navy to ensure that it is fully combat worthy. The Supreme Court expanded the 12-member expert panel formed to oversee the implementation of mitigation measures as part of the Delhi Dehradun Expressway project by adding two independent members and replacing the Uttaragand Chief Secretary with Director General Forest in the Union Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change as Chairman. Aam Admi Party leader Raghav Chadha, Edelweiss Mutual Fund CEO Radhika Gupta and Ukrainian Vice President, Vice Prime Minister and Minister of Digital Transformation Mikhailo Fodorov were named by the World Economic Forum in its 2022 list of young global leaders. Chinese banks continued to dominate the Asia-Pacific banking scheme accounting for six out of the top ten slots by assets in 2021, according to S&P Global Market Intelligence. India's ICICI Bank has entered the top 50 list for the first time to join the State Bank of India and HDFC Bank with $26 billion in assets. International News Ivory Coast, Achille appointed PM, Regional Bank Chief named VP, Patrich Achi has been reappointed as Prime Minister of Ivory Coast just a week after resigning from the post. Trailblazing Indian American US Navy veteran Shanti Sethi has joined Vice President Kamala Harris' office as her Executive Secretary and Defense Advisor. Business and Economy Solar powered pump station has installed capacity for 10 kg hydrogen per day. Exploration and production major oil India Limited has commissioned India's first 99.99% pure green hydrogen plant in Assam. Science and Technology Researchers from the Indian Space Research Organization and the Indian Institute of Science have developed a way to make bricks from martial soul with the help of bacteria and urea. Ajay Kumar Sood has been appointed as the principal scientific advisor to the government. Sports Britain's Joe Salisbury backed up the achievement of becoming doubles world number one by winning the Monte Carlo Masters with US partner Rajiv Ram. Argentina won their first title in the World Rugby 7 Series since 2009 by stunning Olympics championship Fiji 29-10 in the final of the here comes the miscellaneous news. World Creativity and Innovation Day is celebrated on 21st of April. United Nations designated this day as World Creativity and Innovation Day to raise awareness of the role of creativity and innovation in all aspects of human development. So this was the news of 21st of April. I hope you all have revised with us. So, now we can give this news to test the news on the Edurify platform. As you can see, daily current affairs section. You will provide the current affairs test here. So, you can give the test here and check your online score. So, it's very good that you can revision the daily current affairs videos. Our YouTube channel is 